Officers just outside of Williamson in Mingo County say a tree leaning across a road has been causing them concern for more than a year, saying the only thing keeping the tree from falling was another one that was standing upright. It was, and they told News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue their grandchildren's school bus driver had to stop driving through that area three months ago. So she headed out to see what could be done to clear their concerns, and just hours later, they're already seeing some results. Twice a day, every weekday, Larry and Sue Wilson make the trek from their home on Lick Creek Road to a bus stop about half a mile away to meet their grandchildren's school bus. It's not easy to live there. But it hasn't always been that way. They say the problem is rooted in a tree leaning over the road. It's been leaning like this for a long time. But only about three months ago, the bus driver refused to go under it because of limbs fell on, fell on top of the bus. So he, rather than go under it, he, he just refused to. And uh, uh, for the safety of the kids, I mean, you can't blame him. Larry says he tries to limit the times he leaves his home because of the tree's condition. When you're driving under this tree, what goes through your head? Wonder if it's going to drop. Wondering when it's going to drop, who it's going to catch. Larry says even though the tree has stayed leaning in that position for some time, he doesn't know what the winter weather could bring and says he reached out to WSAZ in hopes something could be done so no one gets hurt. You guys get things done, I've noticed that, and uh, nobody else seems to. I reached out to the West Virginia Division of Highways asking if the state operates the portion of Lick Creek Road, if there have been reports of the tree stretching out into the road and for how long, who's responsible for trimming the tree, and when neighbors could expect to see the tree trimmed. A spokesperson for the West Virginia Division of Highways told me Lick Creek Road is owned and operated by the agency, and crews had cut branches on the road last summer. In a statement, the agency said, WVDOH will reassess this route and cut what is necessary to cut. Less than an hour after that, I got another email from DOH saying the tree had been cut down. When I talked to Larry earlier Thursday, he told me seeing a clearing will bring him some relief. This is just one little tree, and it doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people, but it means a whole lot to us. We're inconvenienced to the point that we have to meet the bus to get the kids off the school. When I caught up with Larry later, he told me he feels relief the root of his stress is now gone. Kimberly Donahue, WSAZ, News Channel 3, Mingo County. So a spokesperson for Mingo County Schools tells us the bus route will open back up the next week, next couple of days. In fact, if not tomorrow, then it's going to be at the start of next week.